I'm not sure I like this, because the mutas, yeah, they can just kill us right now. And fly back in time to defend. Yep, forces to cancel. Tori's army is cut out of position, but he gets away. He, he might want to move these. Actually, the Spinecrow is in a really good position here. But they can't defend his third. His meters are going for a counter attack, maybe. They're. Yeah, he's. He's gonna counter the main. Just abandon this base. And Muta's are attacking here. He's backing off. There's only two cannons. I think he can... Oh, three cannons. And stalkers. And stalkers, yeah, you're right. He needs to do something, because he just lost the base for nothing at this point. Supply is almost even now. And the toss army is actually worth more at this point. I was trying to expand again. Looks like Troy's gonna try to retake third. That is a lot of mutilisks. What he needs to be doing with these is harassing like at the natural with these. Uh, the stalkers can't get behind here, so he can easily just snipe probes. Yeah, he can't fight the army head on at this point. So he really should be trying to harass more. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Freezer can kill us. I think he's being way too passive with these Mutalists. Like, Mutalists aren't really good in a head-up fight, but they're just so fast, nothing in the Toss Army can catch up with them. So if he were to poke around inside the main natural, he could do a lot of damage. He only has 44 harvesters at this point, he's way behind. And he's behind on the base too at this point. He's gonna be up for uh, actually his is up at the same time, so. Yeah, toss out a few phoenixes into his army. And he's getting high tempo, I didn't see the uh, tempo archives go down, but high tempo would just destroy Mulus because they all clump up and one storm would take out half the health of all these Mulus. Yeah, once he's high time to get enough energy for Storm, I don't know what Trey's going to be able to do. I'm not really watching his army, as well as he should. He's slightly ahead. He may now decide to attack this natural. He should have done that a long time ago, I think. There he goes. Kurtas is going to counter. That is a big army. And the high tempo all have storms now. That's six storms, and storms just melt their things in the You really need roaches against storms. <laughs> he gets a good surround, but the uh, force fields go down. <laughs> that 
That storm is really late. I don't know why he didn't do it at the start of the fight. And it looks like Cho actually won this fight. Yeah, I guess Toss wasn't watching the battle. Just... I don't know. And so now Troy's taking him fourth. He just killed basically the entire Toss army, so he can defend that for now. But he's gonna start being he has to start being worried about these high tempo. They're just designed to kill his army composition. But still no hive, still no roach warren. Yeah, that's, that's what I think you should be doing. Because the Mutus are so fast, they can easily harass here and still get back in time to defend, like they did in that battle. Uh, it's like the head by 30. The thing is, Storm is just so good against this. But once again, he does not storm meters. And the form, yes, this is pretty bad for the Protoss. But he's pressing his advantage. He may just kill the space right here. Yeah, the game's pretty much over at this point for the protests. Just a uh, bad micro. Missing those storms is what cost him this game. Very manner. So Cornell takes the series 4-0.